All right, my brand new Honda EU 2200i generator just came out of the box. Uh, not a bit of oil, not a bit of gas has ever been in it. I just got a uh, conversion kit in also from um, from Hutch Mountain. So we are going to convert this over to propane. So the kit uh, should be pretty complete. Comes with your uh, kind of standard high pressure barbecue grill type regulator. And then in this big uh, regulator is a low pressure one uh, vacuum regulator. So in the event the, the uh, a gas line comes loose or something happens with a leak, it'll, uh, it'll, and the engine's not running, it'll shut it off. So a little bit of a safety measure. So this is the Venturi that goes on the carburetor that allows it to burn the uh, propane. A few other fittings to install. Um, it's got a sticker to, uh, I guess, replace that knob so you kind of know where you're supposed to be turning it when you want to run it on propane. Come with a uh, little keychain container here. It says it's got a jet for natural gas. So if you want to run it on natural gas, I guess it requires to be rejetted. But I'm going to try natural gas without the jet, see what happens. So anyway, I'm uh, going to get going on the... Uh, on this conversion okay it covers off so next uh, we need to remove that screw and then these two uh, nuts off oh, to get that air cleaner housing off and then once that air cleaner housing is off and pull out the little pre-filter and there's one more bolt right there needs to come off all right now all those bolts are loose and then there is one more hose right here holding that air cleaner on and off it comes and now we have our carburetor exposed okay with that housing uh, completely off now it says to remove the old gasket mine has never ran probably not necessary so I think I'm going to leave it. But anyway, they, they give you two gaskets in your Venturi. So gasket goes. Oops. And then uh, your propane Venturi. And then one more gasket back on. And uh, we need to route this hose a little bit. And then uh, we'll be ready to put the air cleaner box back on okay I need to add some oil before test crank um, I pulled the uh, factory drain plug uh, dipstick piece out there and I have bought uh, this little device this is a magnetic uh, old dipstick so that magnet picks up any crud or metal shavings and all that come out of the engine as it breaks in uh, these motors don't have any kind of oil filter and so to keep all that crud from circulating back up in the motor uh, magnet is wonderful. So I'm going to use this as my, uh, my new dipstick. And then uh, I just got to get a funnel in there and uh, put in some oil, which I'm not going to do on camera because I only got two hands. So now we need to drill a hole for the propane line to come out of. So the scary part. So directions say um, three quarters from here, five and three quarters from there. Drill a nine sixteenths hole. So I got a step bit and I've got it marked. So let's see how it goes. All right, hole in one or one hole in it or something like that. Okay, it's done. Doesn't really get much simpler. Uh, got a quick disconnect for the propane line up here. It looks uh, semi-professional. And then if we go back down, I'll take one more look again. Uh, there's the air cleaner box. It's back on, of course. Um, carburetor is right back here. And then in here, this piece is the propane Venturi that we just installed. So it just comes, loops down, around, up. Oh and connects uh, up there into that propane thing so again easy peasy now let's go see if it'll run okay so now uh, 
this mechanism was all put together. Just a regular barbecue valve like we saw before. And then uh, this uh, other low pressure valve. Um, I saw someplace, uh, one YouTuber uh, showed that it's uh, this quick disconnect cover. Just put that, put that over the, uh, whoops, quick disconnect cover. Just take and put this over the bolt and then let it down and then it becomes a little stand to hold this mechanism. <clears throat> so now, come over, we got our quick disconnect. So take off the little protective cover and then it goes in the quick disconnect, which if I can do that one handed, it will be a Christmas miracle. And it's kind of sort of there, but I'm going to double check that real quick before we try to crank it. Okay, I did not get that quick disconnect with one hand, but it's on there. And it's tight now. So, we're going to turn on some propane. And then before I uh, crank this thing up, I'm going to look for some leaks. This is soapy water. If you got leaks, oops, got leaks that makes big bubbles. All right, no big bubbles. That's a very good thing. So let's try the crank. All right, on the back side of this thing, there's a little valve. You give it a couple squirts to get it. Fill the air line with some gas. I'm gonna try it. No choke. Make sure the eco mode is off. This thing is set to fuel off because we've got propane. Let's see what happens. There's quiet mode. I don't know what's going to sound like on camera, but it is very, very quiet. In three quarter mode. So we'll go back around. Uh, here's a little squirt valve I didn't show you. So you press that a couple times to get the air out of the line, put some propane in the line. But it's on. Quiet. Let's crank it up full speed again. And that's still quiet. As quiet it can be. Okay, here we are. We're set up and running. It's on eco mode, and this thing is quiet, quiet as can be. It sounds louder on video. I was looking at the video earlier, and it sounds louder on video than it does uh, in person. But there it is on eco mode, so we're going to see what it does. So I've got a heat gun and a hair dryer and the, uh, the Bluetooth app, and we're going to see if we, can, uh, if we can kill it. So... Here we go on heat gun high. Of course, you heard the generator ramp up from eco mode. And uh, that is rated at a 15 watt heat gun. 
so it is pulling 1430 watts so pulling pretty close to what its rating is and so uh, we're going to see what uh, what it can do if it can handle the hair dryer so the hair dryer has a, uh, a high and a low fan and has a uh, high and a low heat or a warm and hot heat so first low fan Probably heard the generator ramp up a little bit. And here we go. So now we're pulling 1,540 watts. So a uh, couple hundred watts there. Again, that's a 2,200 watt rated generator. Okay, so high fan. And you probably heard the generator ramp up a little bit more. So now we're pulling 1,640 watts. So let's put some heat to it. All right, warm heat. Ooh, the generator ramped up again some more. Woo! Hey. 2130 watts on propane. That's not supposed to work on propane that high. So it is rocking. Just rocking it out. Can hit high heat. back down to ego mode. 